Lord Naseby, a Conservative peer and founder and chairman of the all-party parliamentary group on Sri Lanka. Were they justified in the um, armed in action taken by the Sri Lankan well, government say, over the last few weeks? I would say yes. I mean, any elected government has got Tamils in the government. Uh, they're the elected government. You have a terrorist group prescribed by the US, Canada, the UK, EU, many other countries. It is a terrorist group. No, no elected government can allow a terrorist group to continue. And there's been a progression. I mean, I was there this year, the year before, uh, from Manor all the way up to Kilinochi. Uh, and it is the terrorists who've taken the human shield with them. That's the most awful dimension. And I'm afraid those who, like people from Tarama Forum, who believe that uh, uh, the money you raise here locally to help the Tamil people, that's not been used to help the Tamil people. That's been used to provide arms, air-conditioned bunkers, etc. So my answer is, yes, the government were entirely justified. That somebody who escapes from the Tigers, and there's about 40,000 have escaped, are in the farm at Malik, which is a, a large camp. It is serviced by the government agent, not a member of the government. The government agent is a civil servant. Uh, the UNHCR are there. The uh, uh, Red Cross are there, and they report that this is a good camp. And I worked there in 1963 for the Ricky Coleman Group. I wasn't in politics, and language was the issue. You're quite right, absolutely right. Gross discrimination at that time. But today, that has been put right. The official languages now are Tamil and Sinhalese, with some English. Uh, you go around and see the road signs, the new road signs, they're all in Tamil and Sinhala. Uh, if you're going to enter the civil service, you are required now at a certain level and above, you are required, if you're a Sinhalese speaker, you have to learn Tamil, and if you're a Tamil, you have to learn Sinhalese. Oh, right. In answer to the lady who asked the question about child soldiers, you can make your point. What about the human rights record of the Sri Lankan government and criticisms made of it by the United Nations? Hitler was the last person, and I was a small boy in those days, to use young men mainly, to arm uh, and, run, and use the air cat guns. The, t the Tamil Tigers are the only freedom movement, so-called, in the world to use child soldiers. I'm talking about boys of 9, 10, 11, etc. You've seen et them? Cetera. Have you seen now, them? Of course I haven't seen them, yeah. nor have you either. No, so you keep right. quiet, I'm answering this question, <laughs> not you. <laughs> Secondly, the Tamil Tigers invented the suicide bomber. They've trained Al-Qaeda in suicide bombing. Kamikaze? You got and, and and they've taken, a, they've taken Haven't out... Haven't you heard of Kamikaze? When, when it's the British... Oh, no, no, let's let Michael finish no. his answer. Excuse me. Oh. They invented a suicide bomber walking up to a person and blowing them up. What the... What, what did you hear? Let Michael finish his answer. Premadasa, 